<laughs> Shane, do you think about the history of this, what this team could do? You know, the fact that you know, the only two other teams in ECAC hockey history have won three straight uh, tournament titles? I mean, it's not definitely not our main focus here, but uh, our main focus definitely is on Dartmouth and this weekend and uh, not getting all caught up in uh, the history and stuff and uh, just playing our game and uh, looking forward to a great weekend. Colin? Oh yeah, like Shane said, uh, and the other guys, we we, uh, we don't really think about the past or any of that stuff. Uh, we're really focused on Friday night. Um, I think we're uh, we had a great week of practice this past week, and uh, no reason this week will be any different. And we're just looking forward to uh, to getting this underway. Colin, what are your thoughts as you get ready for your first playoff start? Uh, you know, I I'm kind of just treating it like any other game. Uh, you know, it's, it's three periods, 60 minute game. It's, it's no different. Uh, I'm not going to prepare any differently. Um, you know, uh, obviously practice is huge for me, so I'm going to have a huge week of practice this week and uh, just get going Friday. Does it get you excited at all this time of year? Because I feel like so often hot goaltending, everybody kind of jumps on that guy's back and good things can happen. You know, as that guy, does it get you excited that, you know, this is the time of the year that you play for? Uh, you know, I, I try not to look too into the whole hot goalie thing or whatever. Um, you know, I think uh, just the guys in front of me have been doing a great job. Um, and I think playoff hockey is, you know, the best time of the year. It's the most fun time of the year. So I think that's that's reason enough to, to be excited for Friday night. So Shane, what can you draw on from the, the regular season games against Dartmouth, obviously knowing that, you know, this is kind of a whole different animal this time of year? Uh, definitely. I don't think you can judge too much from them. I mean, we played them twice. They gave us two good games. But uh, it's, it's a new season coming up with playoffs and stuff. And uh, right now they're one of the hottest teams. They just beat a good RPI team over there last weekend. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, like Colin said, we're definitely excited and uh, had some good week of practice and this week too, and uh, we're just looking to get the show on the road. How important does that make game one, Shane, given that Dartmouth is hot and, and maybe even shift one for you guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, just treat it like any other game. Uh, we're not going to lose our focus. We, we know how to prepare for them. I'm sure they know how to prepare for us, and uh, we're just going to look to play our game. Shane, was that the first time you played Dartmouth there was a 7-2 game up there. Was that just was that just a fluke situation? Would did we see the real Dartmouth team here in December? Yeah, I definitely wouldn't uh, judge them by that game for sure. I mean, everyone doesn't have a good game every game. And, uh, I mean, look at us beginning our season. We uh, faltered a little bit with Steve-O going down. But, again, I, I wouldn't judge too much from that game. And uh, we're looking for a good series here. You, <clears throat> you've had a bye week. They had to play, get extended. Based on your experience here, would you rather have a bye week, or do you think it's important to keep playing and keep some momentum? Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I mean, I think it's good to get a bye week. Uh, it's good to get rest anytime you can. But uh, um, worked good for us the past two years, so uh, I guess I wouldn't mind the bye. Good. Okay.